Welcome here to Story 69. Through stories, we teach you English communication skills. Through stories, we teach you moral science. Through stories, we enhance your personality. Through stories, we change your attitude and behaviors. Dear folks, this is a heart-touching, beautiful love story. Right, sir? A very poor man. See, this is video number 69. So, what's most important? See, you may be a millionaire. You may be a billionaire. You may be king of a country. You may be very handsome or very beautiful. Unless if somebody loves you, your life is total waste. Unless you experience love in your life, your life is total waste. There are munis you are going, you see in Himalayas, fasting and you know praying to God. That can be experienced by a true lover's experience, love experience. No need to go to Himalayas, but to get the true love, it is impossible. Now, love is based on money, love is based on bikes, love is based on color, love is based on dowry, love is based on horoscope, love is based on caste, love is based on religion, love is based on your bank balance, love is based on your own house and everything, but love is something different. Love from your father, parents, what you get love. Your brother, friend, through your opposite sex, what you get that type of love. So, love differs in its uh, term. So, here coming here, a beautiful love story. Very poor man lived with wife. Very poor man lived with his wife. One day, his wife, who had very long hair, wife had a very long hair, beautiful hair, asked him to buy her a comb. Comb means, you know, combing the hair with a comb. She wants a comb. Please buy and give me a comb for her hair to grow well. I want my hair to grow well. So, I need, I want you to get me a comb and to be well groomed so that I can maintain my hair. The man felt very sorry and said, no. The man said, no. He explained that he didn't even have enough money to fix the strap of his watch. What do you mean by strap of his watch? He had the watch, the strap which he ties, it has gone. So, I don't have money to even replace that. So, where do I have money to buy comb? No, I can't because uh, he says even strap I have not changed. She didn't ins insist on a request. The men went to, the man went to work and passed by a watch shop. So, he watched, he just passed through a watch shop, said his damaged wa sold his damaged watch. He sold his damaged watch at a low price and went to buy a comb for his wife. A beautiful comb he has purchased so that he can give as a gift to his wife. He sold his watch, mind you. He came home in the evening with comb in his hand. He was having comb in his hand, ready to give to his wife. He was surprised when he saw his wife with a very short haircut. When he came to home, he saw his wife, who was symbolic of having a long hair, beautiful shining hair. That time, her hair was cut. He was shocked. She had sold her hair and was holding a new watch band. So, she sold the hair and she was having a watch band strap to give to her husband. Tears flowed simultaneously from their eyes. So, both she did not mention or he did not mention that she is going to sell her hair or cut her hair and sell the hair. He did not say to her that he is going to sell the watch and buy a comb for her. But both see understood each other's needs and simultaneously they came there and one is presenting with a comb and one other, the girl is presenting with a strap. So, tears rolled their eyes, not for the futility of their actions. They did not cry for their actions. I went and purchased, I went and uh, purchased a comb or you purchase. It is not the matter of purchasing of comb or the strap. What is that? 
but for the reciprocity of the love. What do you mean by reciprocity of love? He gives love, she gives love. He gives love, she gives love. Only in love, love reciprocity is there. That is love. If man alone purchases and gives to the wife, man alone you know gives love it is a one sided love or if wife gives love it becomes a one sided husband is not bothered but here both are simultaneously each other reciprocating their love equally at the time understanding each other needs this is what a husband and wife should be this is what a spouse should be so to love is nothing to love is nothing you know you can love anybody it's not a matter at all. I can love uh, one girl or one, uh, somebody, anybody I can love. That's not a matter. To be loved is something. So others are loving you. That is something. To love others is nothing. Somebody loving you is something. But to love and to be loved by one you love. So you love somebody, the other person also loves you. That is something great. The other person should be the person whom you love. So, you love her and she loves you and the person whom you love is the person who loves you is the person whom you love. That is everything. Never take love for granted. So, do not ever take love for granted. Now, we take love for granted, is not it? Somebody loves you, we say he is, he is mad after me. So, you just undervalue their love. And you do not respect people generally, you know, love somebody who does not love you. That is the matter, you know. When somebody loves you uh, so deeply, then you say, what do you say? Uh, you know, he is mentally after me, he is mad after me. So, you do not value their love. But here is a case where he loves her madly, she loves him madly. Both are equally in love. To love others is nothing. To be loved is something. But to be loved and to love with the same person is something great. That is what the story is all about, dear friends. Now coming here, great attitude, attitude, great attitude, great attitude. Once a bird asked a bee after a continuous hard work, you prepare the honey. Once a bird asked a bee, a bird asked a bee. After continuous hard work, you prepare the honey. After continuous hard work, you prepare the honey. But a man steals the honey. The man steals the honey. Do you not feel sad? So here, then the bee replied, never. Because a man can only steal my honey, not the art of making honey. Dear friends, they can steal anything from you. They can steal your money. They can steal your possessions, your wealth, but not your knowledge, not your art, not your skill. The skill and knowledge and power, those cannot be taken away from you. They can take away everything, your possessions. So that is what here a bee, a bird comes and asks a bee, bee, I just want to ask a question. Man takes away your honey. Don't you feel sad? And the bee says, I am not bothered because he can take away only my honey, not the art of making honey. So, let them take my possessions, let them take my wealth, but they can never take my knowledge and power. That is the power of knowledge. Hope you are able to understand. So, I request one by one to come and say both the stories and tell what they understand from this philosophy. Yes, I start with the, yes, gentlemen, please come forward. Hello everyone, here I am here to tell you about uh, this story. In this story, uh, the moral of this story is uh, you, have, uh, you have to love uh, someone in your life. If you not love somebody, then your total life is waste. Like uh, if you have money, something. Uh, money you are a king of uh, country but if you you are not in love with someone then you have nothing to do okay in this story uh, the moral of this story is uh, someone can steal your knowledge uh, someone can steal your money 
your works, your credits, credits, but nobody can take your uh, make nobody can take your art and knowledge. Okay, thank you. Hi friends, I'm coming here to talk about this story. One poor, poor uh, a very poor man and his, uh, his wife is there. It's a, it's a poor family, but uh, the wife asked her, his husband, her husband, I want to, uh, I want a comb pack to grow uh, for uh, his her hair, but uh, the man said, uh, so sorry, I, I cannot purchase the hair um, related things because of I do even I cannot change I want to change my watch do so don't have money so I cannot um, uh, change my watch uh, watch also so I cannot buy the things like that he told his wife one day he ca go to the he went to the watch shop and he sold his watch and he to he bought the comb back to his wife but the simultaneously he mm, the lady also sold her hair to buy the new watch. So simultaneously, husband and wife um, uh, expressed their doubts. So I wa that is the I am understand from this story. So second story is one bird is there. He, he asked the uh, bee, "You uh, your hard work to prepare the honey, but uh, man steals your honey. Uh, do you feel for that like that?" Asked the bird uh, to be. And the bee said, man, uh, man theft my honey only, cannot theft my art of making honey. So what I understand from this story, everyone, no one cannot theft her knowledge. Thank you. Good evening to all. Uh, I tell about this story, moral. My friend, uh, my friend working with uh, abroad, uh, he is a lo lover in living in Chennai. Um, uh, both are both are good, uh, both are good to understand, and uh, we both are good to understand. A good to understanding. Uh, she uh, she is uh, she is first gifted uh, first gift uh, present for watch uh, at 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 the same time uh, he is also same same uh, same present for uh, watch uh, watch presenter so that is true love so both are uh, understanding good mind that is that one. Hello friends, I am telling about the story, heart and touching, beautiful love story. And one village and husband and wife, we are very poor man. Uh, one time uh, she is, uh, the, he wife is uh, very long hair and maintained the beautiful hair. One time his uh, husband watch, sold them, uh, present, uh, wife is present for you, sleep. Uh, then um, uh, wife, uh, for wife, uh, the hair it cut it, uh, present, uh, husband present for you, watch. Uh, by the way, story uh, story of the moral, uh, husband and wife, you are equal loves. Okay, uh, uh, you come. Come, come, come. Say something, come, you can. Okay. None but lay, yes, American angular who pull over a head hero. Kadal, in the story, Padina, in the angular stories, Mulamaka, angular Katukola Padum. Kadal, Punida Mana, the Devi Hamana, the Nelanchal Ranga, so in the Kadai in Mulamaka, or a pen. Alahana Mudi Vaitrikar, Rumba Yale, Tirumana Manavar, Kanavan Manavi, Yale Mele Vadi Kundirikar Hill, Manavi, Mudi Nila Makirikar, the Pududaka or Seep Wangi Kudun Hill, Mudi Nan Alaha Paramari Kavendum and the Kanavadam Sola Kanavar and Sulikar, Yenidam, Panamilla, Yen Kadihar Trikan and the Gadihar Trik and the Strap into Sola Kudi and the Kai Gadihar Trike. And the strap into Sola Kodi and the Vurai Wangu other can it Panamilla, Sipu Wangu other can a Kupanam and I'll air part of Panamudia than to Sola Kanaman Velia Selkirar, 
வெளியே சென்று என்ன செய்கிறார் ஒரு கடை வாட்ச் கடை வழியாக போகிறார் உள்ளே சென்று தன்னுடைய கடிகாரத்தை விற்று ஒரு சீப்பு கடைக்கு சென்று விலை உயர்ந்த நல்ல ஒரு சீப்பை விலைக்கு வாங்குகிறார் திரும்பி வீட்டுக்கு வருகிறார் சீப்புடன் மனைவிக்கு கொடுக்கலாம் என்று அங்கே மனைவி தன்னுடைய அழகான கூந்தலை வெட்டி இருக்கிறார் ஆச்சரியப்பட்டு அதிர்ச்சி அடைந்து எங்கே உன் முடி என்று கேட்க அவர் என்ன செய்கிறார் தன்னுடைய கையில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த கடிகாரத்தினுடைய அந்த ஸ்ட்ராப் அந்த தோல் கடிகாரத்தை பின்னக்கூடிய இணைக்கக்கூடிய கைகளில் வைக்கக்கூடிய அந்த ஸ்ட்ராப்பை வைத்து அவர் என்ன சொல்கிறார் நான் என் முடியை விற்று உங்களுக்கு இந்த ஸ்ட்ராப் வாங்கி வந்திருக்கிறேன் என்று சொல்ல அவர் அவர் அதிர்ச்சி அடைகிறார் நானும் உனக்காக என்னுடைய கடிகாரத்தை விற்று சீப்பு வாங்கி கொண்டு வந்திருக்கிறேன் என்று சொல்ல இருவரும் கண் கலங்குகிறார்கள் இது அவர்கள் செய்த செய்கைக்காக அல்ல அந்த காதலனுடைய மறுபக்கம் அதனால் அதனுடைய பிரதிபலிப்பு கணவனும் மனைவியும் சரி சமமாக ஒவ்வொருவருடைய தேவையை அறிந்து தங்களை தாங்களை தங்களுடைய தேவைகளை தியாகம் பண்ணி மற்றவர்களுக்கு சரி சமமாக கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த அன்பு சிறந்த அன்பு என்று சொல்லப்படுகிறது இங்கே லவ் இஸ் நத்திங் டு லவ் இஸ் நத்திங் என்றால் மற்றவர்களை நேசிப்பது என்பது ஒரு சாதாரண விஷயம் டு பி லவ் டு சம்திங் மற்றவர்கள் உன்னை நேசிப்பது என்பது கொஞ்சம் நல்ல விஷயம் நீ அவர்களை நேசிக்கவில்லை என்றாலும் மற்றவர்கள் உன்னை நேசிக்கிறார்கள் என்றால் அது கொஞ்சம் விலை மதிப்புடையது நீ மற்றவர்களை நேசிக்கிறாய் என்பது பெரிய விஷயம் இல்லை மற்றவர்கள் உன்னை நேசிப்பது என்பது கொஞ்சம் பாராட்டக்கூடிய விஷயம் ஆனால் டு லவ் அண்ட் டு பி லவ்ட் பை த ஒன் யூ லவ் நீ நேசிக்கிறாய் அவர்களும் உன்னை நேசிக்கிறார் நேசிக்கிறார்கள் உன்னை நேசிக்கக்கூடியவர்கள் நீ நேசிக்கக்கூடிய மனிதர் இப்படி இருக்கிற பொழுது தட் இஸ் எவ்ரி திங் நெவர் டேக் லவ் ஃபார் கிராண்டட் இந்த அன்பை எப்பொழுதுமே நீ குறைத்து மதிப்பிடாதே ஒருவர் அன்பாக நடந்து கொள்கிறார்கள் என்பதற்காக அவர்களிடம் மேலும் மேலும் வேலையை வாங்காதே ஒருவர் உன்னிடம் அன்பு காண்பிக்கிறார்கள் என்பதற்காக அவர்கள் உனக்கு அடிமை என்று போல் நினைத்து கொள்ளாதே இதுதான் பிரச்சனை இப்பொழுது காதலும் அன்பும் எதற்காக வருகிறது பணத்திற்காகவும் ஜாதி மதம் ஹாரோஸ்கோப் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய பதவி அந்தஸ்து இதை சார்ந்து காதல் இருக்கிறது உண்மையான காதல் எங்கும் இருப்பதில்லை ஸோ அடுத்ததாக பார்க்கிற பொழுது கிரேட் ஆட்டிடியூட் ஆட்டிடியூட் என்றால் என்ன எண்ணம் நம்மளிடம் எது சென்றாலும் பணம் போகட்டும் புகழ் போகட்டும் பேர் போகட்டும் சொத்து போகட்டும் நம்மளிடம் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த நல்ல குணாதிசயங்கள் நம்மளிடம் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த நாலேஜ் அறிவு அது செல்லாமல் இருந்தால் அதுவே மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு சொத்து அனைத்தும் செல்லட்டும் ஆனால் உன்னிடம் இருந்து உன்னுடைய அறிவையும் திறமையும் யாரும் பறிக்க முடியாது ஒரு முறை ஒரு பறவை கேட்டது ஒரு தேனியிடம் தேனியே மனிதன் உன்னுடைய தேனை எடுத்து கொள்கிறான் உனக்கு கோபமாக இல்லையா என்று கேட்க அந்த தேனி சொல்கிறது அந்த மனிதன் என்னுடைய தேனைத்தான் எடுத்துக்கொள்ள முடியுமே ஒழிய தேனை உற்பத்தி செய்யக்கூடிய கலையை அவனால் என்னிடம் இருந்து திருட முடியாது அந்த கலை என்னிடம் எப்பொழுதுமே இருக்கும் என்று சொல்கிறான் இதுதான் சிறந்த ஆட்டிடியூட் எண்ணம் ஸோ உன்னிடமிருந்து எல்லாம் செல்லட்டும் கவலை இல்லை உன்னுடைய நற்குணங்கள் உன்னுடைய திறமைகள் உன்னுடைய அறிவு அது யாராலும் உன்னிடமிருந்து எடுத்துக்கொள்ள முடியாது ஸோ அதற்கு நாலேஜை வலுத்து வளர்த்து கொள்வதற்கு என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் ஒரு மாணவனுடைய கடமை நம்பர் ஒன் படிப்பது ஒரு மாணவனுடைய இரண்டாவது கடமை படிப்பது ஒரு மாணவனுடைய மூன்றாவது கடமை படிப்பது ஸோ வித் ஸ்பெஷல் இன் தி ஸ்டோரி தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்